my gosh that was just be just come on hold up hold up Woo! welcome to the Parramatta River this week gonna be doing something a little different something you haven't seen before gonna be fishing along this section here gonna be using a twin grub tail lure that's right you heard it twin grub twin tail so are we gonna get twice the action so come check this out Look, I'm pretty sure I brought them in here. They're in one of these soft plastic pouches. Let's check this one first. Doesn't look like it. Actually, it's not even in a pouch. It's in my actual lure bag. These ones are called the Bait Breath SL Remix. So it looks like watermelon red anyway. So, you know, that's going to be good. It's apparent that they're kind of small when you bring them out. And the crazy thing is they've got this nice double tail. They smell pretty nice. Ah, yeah. Let's get a jig head. I think what I'll go with, I'll go with the 116th ounce. A bit more resistance to pull it through the water, although they sink, they sink all right. Not super slow. Let's get one of these. These ones are the, you know, the ones I usually use. 116 size 2. There you go. So I'll rig it normally first with the head up. Normally they, I mean, they have done the job for me head down. There you go, like that. Not sure what it's supposed to look like. Maybe some kind of a shrimp or crustacean. It's got these two tiny feelers out the front here as well. And then the two tails. So if I lose one, I've got another chance. Oh, that might have been a hit. Say it is so. Come on, little chibi SL remix, whatever they call them. Those aren't birds, are they? Or markers or something? They're, they're definitely birds in the water. Those two birds there, they're just sitting on top of the water and not moving. It's tripping me out. Alright, so there doesn't seem to be anything here yet. Last cast here. Still on the search, prospecting. One good thing about fishing is you can just walk and, you know, stop wherever you want and have a look and have a cast and then keep walking if you don't like the look of it. There's no hard and fast rules. You can literally do whatever you want. Like if I want to go down here and have a cast, I could. But like you just never know what's in the water until you have a cast in. It's the thrill of the chase. Yep, like that, see? Oh, we got some brakes on. We gotta put the brakes on here. Fighting me well, man. Whoa, whoa. Oh, I'm putting shrimp under the pump here. See, Trevally. Trevally. Boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, because it's coming right in to my clutches. You! It's just getting cold. Put on my jacket. But the fishing hasn't gone cold. Let's get this Trevally looking like a GT blurter. Can you hear that? Oh, it's doing it, but I can't hear it now. But a second ago, it was going oink, oink, oink. Again, just missed it when he was making that blurting sound. Yeah, seriously good fun. Here we go. So what sounds do these make? Blurt, blurt, or oink, oink. Oh, we're just throwing back from here. Seemed like the most reasonable thing to do. Do you guys find that you get a few more trevs in the winter? Certainly what I've seen up in the rivers. And they pull hard like that, and I just dropped one, which is my bad, because I was adjusting my drag a second ago don't know if he'll come back for my bait breath it's only got one tail lift i don't even feel the tail beating now well you can't really feel it but i'm just basically trying to say that it felt like the tail was gone because the resistance pulling through the water was minimal now when it comes to trevs do you guys like do you like using small lures or big lures let me know yeah i'm getting bitten man Ants are just around me. They're in me, they're around me. Alright, looks like the sun's about to come back out. It's starting to get warm again. Maybe I don't need this jacket anymore. 
Okay, that was a bit of a walk down this set of stairs. Four hazard guys. Don't fall for the fish here. They're smart. And lo and behold, we have a crocodile. Crocodile, 12 o'clock. Um, you guys know that's not a crocodile, right? <laughs> this is New South Wales. That's probably just a massive floating tree branch. So probably some dollies underneath that if I can get a cast out of that way. Sarcasm not included. <laughs> Looks pretty shelly. Shelly, but not smelly. There's ants over my hat. I think. Yeah, there is. Let me get these ants off my hat. That's no good. How did I even get on my hat? Get off, mate. That's bad. No. Oh, yeah. Got it free. What's in the water? Oysters. I'm quite surprised I was able to extract that with tremendous force. Hopefully that was only a dead oyster. Or dead. I don't want to show you how many snags that I've just hit in the last period. Snap back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. And hopefully not. Oh, there goes a leader knot. Adding on scent there. Dropped that one. Started tugging. I wasn't ready, unfortunately. Snap back to reality. I won't ever get another hit here. Oh, drop that one, yeah. Yeah, nah. Yeah, nah, no. Yep. Good fight. Thumps. Ooh. Yep. We go good, good way here. What is this? <sighs> Thumping hard. There he is. Coming in now. Oh, it's, what is it? It's a, it's a Lutterick. Three, two, one. Yeah. Hey, not too bad for this Lutterick here. Well, I'll be darned. Let's fix that up. A few moments later. Yep, yep. What's this? Whoa. Nice, nice one. Yep. Took me by surprise that. Wonder what it is. Pulling pretty hard, man. Here he is, he's coming in. Yeah, it's a brim. Yeah. Woo. Oh yeah, nice brim, this one. Yes. Brim balls, when you don't let them run, they just crack the little one, they just keep putting that pressure on. But I was so lucky, with that amount of pressure, that was only in the top of the lippy here. I'm gonna throw him here. Got him. Ooh. That may have been a take. Yes, it was. Oh, what? Oh, see that? That was going spastic. Well, that was about to go spastic. Oh, I got cracked so hard there. Dude, no way. That pulled out of its the fish's mouth. We just caught a brim. Basically didn't take a, an ounce of drag. And then that one there, on the strike, it was basically going that away. As I make this cast, just came back. I just went to puke for about 10 minutes. Oh, that was gut-wrenching. Got my tail between my proverbial legs right now, as you know. But we're back on that horse. I tried jumping there to see if it would make a difference. <laughs> it didn't. Don't jump. So don't jump to get more distance, just do a run up. Oh, I dropped that one. Look at that, almost ripped it off. Whatever had it, just gripped on and tried to rip it off me. Now the challenge is, can I rip one back? 
think that might be me. I knew it. As you know, I've lost a few of these guys now. So I'm rigging some of these ones backwards. I've retained the ones which are kind of ripped because these aren't the most destructible plastics. Just getting another life out of them. Sitting there nicely, boy. Here's the ferry. We're finally getting some ferry wash here. See what happens. It's probably going to come smashing into this wall. So I'll stand back if the waves get big. My gosh, that was just, be just, come on, hold up, hold up, woo, oh, what, oh, how can I have that much power? Can't turn its head yet. Can't turn its head. Holy. This is where you just stand and pray. Oh no. No. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, let's see the damage. My hands are shaking. My gosh, on six pound drag, there wasn't much more I could do there. I could I couldn't turn its head. You saw I I didn't really get a get a wind on that. That's all rubbed. It's all demolished. That was painful, and I know you know the feeling. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, and if you like heart-stopping runs like this, watch this next one. It'll blow you away.